Hey, I got one good question for you. Do you want to learn how to increase your credit score an extra 20 points, 50 points, even 100 points? Answer's probably yes. You know I got you. You know I'm going to show you how to blow that thing up real quick. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, Welcome to the family. So in today's class, I'm going to show you a trade line you can add on your credit report that can help you increase your credit score, maybe 20 points, maybe 50 points, maybe 100 points. It all depends on what you're going on. And I'm going to show you and give you the breakdown, see if you actually need this trade line. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know you know what you got to do. Got to get you something to drink. Cool. Cause it's gonna be a good one. Hey, welcome to today's lesson. Hey, let's talk for a second. Let me show you how this trade line can impact your credit score and help you improve it. An extra 20 points, 25, 30, 40, 50. We don't know, but it'll help you increase your credit score overall. So I'm just gonna break down on how it can impact your credit score. So if you didn't know, if you already been watching some of my videos, you should know the five factors of your credit score. But if you don't, five factors of your credit score is um, payment history, which is 30% of your score, right? I mean, 35% of your score. Um, utilization, which is 30% of your score. Average age is 15% of your score. Let's say total accounts is, um, we call it total accounts. Credit mix, which is 10% of your score. And you know, the hard inquiries. Yo, I know a lot of y'all have credit commerce, so hope you can see it. Payment history, 35. Credit use, um, utilization, 30%. Credit age, which is average age, 15%. Total accounts, we call it mix of accounts, which is um 10%. And then um, hard inquiries, new accounts, 10%, right? This is just all for illustration, all illustration purposes only. So I'm just trying to give you an understanding of what's going on. So I'm gonna show you how this account can impact your credit score, maybe 10 points, 15 points, 30 points. It all depends on what you're going on. But if you have derogatory accounts, then you're not gonna know your true credit score, right? And we don't pay attention to the credit karma score because that's not a real score. We look at the FICO score. Now the FICO score is what the banks are looking at. So you want to understand what the banks are looking at because you're trying to get a house. You're trying to get a car. You're trying to get some funding for your business, 20, 30, 40, even $50,000, right? So you got to pay attention to what the banks are actually looking at. That's the cheat code. All right, and they giving us a cheat code by giving us what we need to look at to improve our credit score. It might take a month, it might take two months, it might take three, it might take a whole year. But are you willing to wait a whole year to get $100,000 in available credit to do what you wanna do and, and cash out on the reward points and live a certain lifestyle and do the things? Hey, if you're excited like me, hey, you just wanna, uh, I mean, let me break it down to you. So this, out in this primary account, it's affecting you two ways because it's, gonna, it's a credit card and it helps you build and save at the same time. No, I'm not talking about self-lending. No, I'm not talking about credit strong. I'm talking about a different type of account, right? So this account helps in two different ways. And what I mean by two different ways is, of course, it's going to affect your payment history. So what I mean by that is if the highest credit score right now most banks have is the FICO 8, right, which is an 850. And the lowest credit score you can have is a 300, right? So that means you have 550 points to play with. So 550 points, 35% of 550 is what? A big 192.5. 30% of 550 is 165 points. 15% of 550 is 82.5. And then, you know, credit makes 10% of 550 is 55 points and 55 points, right? So by adding this primary trade line on your credit report, this is how it's gonna improve your credit score. And what I mean by that, as long as you get these derogatory marks off, you're gonna see your true and your true credit score. So if you have collection repossession, it's hurting your credit score. So you gotta remove this before you'll be able to see the true impact of how this account is gonna help your credit score. So what I mean by how it's gonna improve an extra 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 points, here's how. It's because you're adding a, a account, a new account, right? And it's just say, this new account, you don't have too many accounts in your credit report, or you don't have a credit card at all. If you don't have a credit card at all, you're missing out on 165 points, available points when it comes to your credit score buy. So you just add in this primary account onto your credit report, it's gonna improve it 20, 15, 30, 40. It might improve it 50, uh, 60 points. It all depends on your credit report, right? It's gonna affect the um, payment history because you're making on-time payments, right? And then a credit age, it might drop it a little bit. However, over time, 
three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, a year, two years, three years, four years, it's gonna help this part of your age because you had this account for a, a long period of time. Now, credit mix is gonna definitely affect it, right? Because the more accounts you have on your credit report, the better, and here's why. The more accounts on your credit report, if you was a lender, right? And you looked at somebody's credit report and you saw that person A has only, let's say five accounts and person B only has, uh, person B has 20 accounts. You see that this person B has 20 accounts. They make it on time payments. Everything's looking good on the credit report. You're most likely gonna lend to that person because you saw they have a track record of paying on time. Person B only have five accounts. You kind of iffy, so you might just give them a thousand dollar or five hundred dollar limit. This is how the lenders look at us. So, the more accounts you have on your credit report, the better. So, ten percent of five fifty is fifty five points. It's gonna help that part because if you have how this account works by you adding this trade line, it helps the um, installment account. It helps the installment and the revolving accounts, right? You want to have a mix of both. So, credit mix is you want to have um, installment accounts in your credit report, which are um your personal loan student loan car loan like self lender credit store. those are the type of installment accounts right have the same number every single month and it has an end date revolving accounts are you know credit cards charge cards store cards those are your revolving accounts so once you identify that this is how it's going to impact that part of your credit score because they impact both parts because they have um i'll show you when i'll show you i'll show you on here in a second um and hard inquiries new accounts so this doesn't do a credit check however 10% of your credit score is hard inquiries and new accounts. So by adding this account, you're adding a new account. So it's going to affect your credit score in a positive way. And this is why I'm so excited about this account because once you get this account, when I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. It's going to help you improve your credit score overall. So I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Hope you got a good idea because now when we look at Credit Karma, now you have a better understanding of what's going on and see how you can improve in each area of your credit score. So, hey, let's just get into this trade line what I'm talking about. Hey, so I don't know if you ever heard of this place before, but it's called Ava, right? Somebody, one of our family members put me onto it and I checked it out. It looked like it's, you know, legit. So based off of the reviews and everything, so you can check it out for yourself. Hey, as you can see, text the link, get your app and everything right. Google, Apple, and you know how I feel about Google and Samsung users. However, that's another day for another conversation. For my Apple users, you know, I show love, I'm playing. But let's check it out more in detail. So let's go to it, um, product. And as you can see, we help you build credit and save money automatically. And it's that easy. So the credit builder program, here it is right here. So the credit builder program, no interest or fees, instant approval, credit limit up to $2,500 $2, if you qualify. Use your credit card to pay for online expenses like Netflix, Spotify, Amazon subscription, weekly auto pay bills credit faster, and we report progress to the bureau scores up to, scores go up in the last 30 days, right? So that's the, credit card program, right? With also they have a savings program. So you get in um, two in one type of a thing, right? So it's like you get in a credit card and you can also build a savings, right? So a prime, I mean, an installment account and a revolving account, you get in two in one account. So savings builder, as you can see, build credit while you're trying to save, set aside a little as $20 per paycheck and lock into your AVA account. Bill credit every um, bill credit with every on-time payment. Access all your savings after completing the plan. It's all yours at zero percent interest. Hey, amazing, right? So if you have a hard time saving, if you have a hard time um, putting away money, this is a good way for you to put away fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, or whatever you try to save up at the end of the um, at the end of the year, right? Especially let's say Christmas is around the corner or like six, seven months from now or whatever time Christmas is, you can just set aside some money every single month for Christmas, right? For your family or for a gift or a trip or whatever you got going on, whatever you want to plan, you can set some money um, aside and you're building credit at the same time, right? So it's a win-win situation, especially if you're trying to go on a trip. Hey, you put the money away for this trip. Now it's helping you build your credit. Hey, and at the end of the time that you got this money, hey, you're going on the trip, you're having a good time and you build your credit at the same time. So this is how it's um, 
this is how this is a good product or a good trade line to add onto your credit report. Now, another way it has credit monitoring, as you can see, credit score monitor, access your credit score, stay on track, check your credit score weekly, access insights on what's impacting your credit score, get notifications when you fall behind on payments. So this is a win-win situation, all right? So another thing they have, savings monitoring. You can check it out for yourself. Save money with an AI assistant, automatically looks at for the lowest interest rates for you, refinance existing debts, or it gets the best deals without any work, searches for credit cards, personal loans, and auto loans. Hey, this is a whoo, this is, this is dope, right? So by adding this account, oh, personalized financial plan. I can't forget about this. Ava builds a plan tailored to you. Everyone's financial goals are different. You deserve a plan that best just, I mean, you deserve a plan built just for you. Tap on the recommendation and we'll do the rest, right? So check it out, go get it, go download it and see if it works, you know, works for you, right? Hey, let's talk real quick. If you have this part, right? If you have some derogatory accounts, if you have this, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? If you have a lot of derogatory accounts on your credit report, let me work out a path for you on how you can remove those accounts, right? I have a lot of videos showing you how you can clean up your credit. However, I'm going to talk to you here for a second. The first thing you want to do is it's a, it's a re it's really a system when it comes to um, cleaning up, and I have the one deletion away system, and it breaks it down for you. So the first thing, um, watch my videos in the mind. The end of mind is getting clear of removing those derogatory marks, right? Analyze your credit report, analyze and seeing what's hurting, what's impacting your credit score. Clean up your personal information. All those negative accounts are attached to your personal information, right? So you want to detach those addresses, detach those, um, that personal, that name, that um, phone number, all that negative stuff, misspelled names and all that. You want to detach it. You want to freeze the snitches and then you want to set everybody up. Now, how you set everybody up? You set everybody up with the free secret letter. Get this free secret letter, it's free. The link is in the description. Go grab it and then you hit them with the, well, you're going to be building credit, right? At the same time when you send the send everybody up and then you hit them with the KO method, right? Now the KO method is a hey, dispute pack playbook, right? So grab that uh, five pack playbook, help you knock them things off your credit report. If you have any questions, if you need assistance, hey, I'm opening up a phone line for y'all. So I'm going to have the phone line, hey, doing something new, right? Got the phone line available so you can call in. If you can't get somebody, leave a voicemail. We're going to get back to you. You know I got you. I'm trying to improve every single day to help y'all out, to get these things knocked off your credit report. All right, I'll see you in the next class.